What's up, guys? How you guys doing? Today, we're going to talk about skills and professions in 1.5. Uh, keep in mind that when I go through, I'll do my best to try and have uh, a casual approach to these professions. I have a very slight bias. I challenge run this game a lot, and I spend a lot of my time making wine and hanging out in the Skull Cavern. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's start with farming. Um, so our first two choices, rancher or tiller. I would super heavily lean towards taking Tiller 99 out of 100 times. Uh, so let's start with Tiller. Tiller is really good because it leads into some of the best perks in the game, two of them, Artisan and Agriculturalist. These guys are easily A and above. Um, Agriculturalist allows you to grow uh, more cycles of or more harvests of fruit or vegetables, which in turn you can actually turn into wine via kegging. And that's a lot of money, especially star fruit. You can actually get three harvests off in one summer using agriculturalist and uh, the fertilizer stuff, the speed grow. It's nuts. Lots of money. Uh, whereas rancher has the same kind of potential on a much smaller scale. <laughs> I don't like animals in the game. I have a massive bias towards them. They're boring. They don't bring a lot to the table. So let's go down the rancher line. So you start out, rancher makes it so animal products are 20% more. That's not too bad. It's at least a positive. That's nice. It's not a negative in any way, shape, or form. Pretty cool. If you like animals, that's a good way to go. It's way better than tiller, especially if you only focus on animals or have like a, a lot of them. Um, this one's kind of subjective. I, as far as I know, there's not exactly a better one. I don't ever go down this line, but coop master is really nice because uh, if you want to focus on early game like rabbits, that would be a really good way to make friends with a lot of the people with the exception of one person in town. Um, the higher the quality of rabbit's foot you give to somebody, the more heart points you get with them, if that makes sense. You can befriend chickens, rabbits, and all those little guys way faster, and the incubation time for eggs is cut in half. Uh, shepherd is the same, but for barnyard animals, and the sheep uh, spit out more wool. If I had to rate these two perks... I would probably give them like D's, two D's, double D. Tiller's better. Oh boy, mining. Um, so mining is a really interesting one. I always go the same thing every time. Uh, let's start with the two choices, miner or geologist. Both are actually very good. Uh, miner, I pretty much take every single time because I'm always down in the Skull Caverns because I love that place. I love Iridium. I can't help it. But let's go down the minor uh, path. So, if you take minor, your two choices at level 10 are blacksmith or prospector. So, if somebody ever asks you to tell a joke, you just tell them prospector trait from Stardew Valley. It is worthless. It has got, like, it's F-. minus. It doesn't have any purpose other than you find, like, additional coal in, in rocks. That's pretty much the only thing I can think of. And that's terrible. You could just buy coal with blacksmith slash miner. Blacksmith is like S+. Plus. It's one of the best perks in the game. Potentially the best. The best. And it just synergizes insanely well with miner. And it makes sense that they lead into each other. I always take miner and blacksmith. Uh, never prospector. Never prospector gang. Always. So let's move over to geologist. Geologist is actually really good. I think I got a buff at 1.5. I want to say it was like 20 or 30% per node last time. But... Memory is not my strong suit. Geologist is really good because it allows you to get multiple gems. You can get multiple emeralds. You can get multiple diamonds, uh, amethyst, you know, all that stuff. And it adds up. It doesn't work with uh, prismatic shards, though. Let's go down the tree on geologist. Excavator is like a D perk. I don't know why you'd ever take this. Uh, I don't understand the purpose of this one at all. When I'm in the Skull Caverns, I mean, I guess if you have issues with finding geodes this one has the potential to be helpful like if you're trying to figure out uh you know you're trying to fill out the museum is a really good example this could be a pretty good perk for that because you find the geode you break it open you get the minerals you can store it inside and that can give you progress that way that's nice that's actually not too bad um outside of that i have no idea why you would ever want to take this it's kind of a cool sounding perk though so that's pretty neat uh gemologist is pretty much i would say like 99 percent of the time the one you want to pair with because when you find gems, you can sell them and make crazy money. Like diamonds are like worth a thousand each or something. Maybe more. My math's not very strong. 
But yeah, I would take Miner and Blacksmith pretty much every day of the week. It's just su super good. It helps you get ore of any kind. Uh, and technically, you can make money off of Iridium bars and gold bars. Pretty cool. I recommend Miner Blacksmith. This leads us into Foraging. So Foraging, aka the Linus Special. Uh, it has to deal with picking things up forageables from the ground like spring onions trees is also under this umbrella um truffles is too oddly enough so let's start with the two choices forester or gatherer um they change forester a little bit so instead of wood selling for 25 percent more you get more wood i'm pretty sure could be wrong feel free to correct me um and gatherer which is a chance to double harvest any forageable you pick up. This applies to truffles, which is why it synergizes with truffles slash pigs very, very well. If you take gatherer, you have to take botanist. That's not a threat, but you really should. Botanist is really good because it synergizes really well with gatherer, but it makes it so anything you pick up becomes iridium. So coconuts, coconut cactus things in the desert, uh, truffles become iridium. It's, and you have a chance to get two of them. So it's like crazy good synergy. Whereas Tracker just highlights where forageables are, are on the map. Cool. Nice. Let's move to Forester. Forester is actually not that bad of a perk. If you have issues with wood, you could actually think about taking Forester instead. It's not a bad perk at all. The only downside is the two following perks after hitting level 10 are kind of bad. That's... Pretty much it's only draw. Getting more wood is always good. It's nice. So after you take Forester, it leads to Lumberjack and Tapper. Both of these are trash. Lumberjack literally only gets you hardwood, right? Which is not terrible, but with the new 1.5 changes, there's a tree called the Mahogany Tree uh, that sole purpose is hardwood. And you can grow these trees. So, as far as I know, you don't really need that much hardwood, but I guess in case you really, really needed hardwood, this would be an okay way to go. Um, tapper, not really that great. Syrups every seven days from the Tapper cost, or they're worth 25% more. I'm just disgusted thinking about Tracker because I can see it out of the corner of my eye. Tapper's really not that good. Um, I guess if you have a lot, if you have a huge tree farm and you have a bunch of tappers going it has potential to get you like a nice little chunk of change every week um but i would definitely recommend taking gatherer and botanist just because it's just so much better unless you need wood then forester's better i typically choose gatherer botanist though sweet fishing let's talk about fishing so the two perks you're presented with fisher trapper both actually aren't terrible um, actually, I like all of these perks on both sides of the aisle, um, but I typically always take Fisher because I'm typically doing challenge runs, and in challenge runs, there's usually some kind of time limit, so early game fishing money is very good, so I always opt to take Fisher and Angler because of that. Both of them are pretty self-explanatory. Fish sell for a lot more money. Um, Pirate actually is really good, but Pirate is really nice because... It has potential to be really, really good. You can get multiple treasure items, um, like two. Di you can get diamonds, you can get iridium ore, you can get uh, iridium bands, uh, you can get Neptune's glaive. It's like it's like crazy potential, which is really nice. So it's kind of like a gamble. Whereas angler is just a flat, like really boring. You know, here's some money. Here you go. So I take I take angler, but I actually can see the potential of trapper. Um, the, the first level of Trapper is kind of bad. It doesn't really do too much. It just reduces the cost of the crab pots. Nothing too special. Kind of kind of bland. But the next two are really cool. Uh, Mariner is really nice. Um, but Lure Master is objectively better because I'm a really lazy person. So what I like to do typically, if I was to go Trapper, I would take Lure Master. Because I'll slam a bunch of these uh, crab pots all over town. You know, and then on the ocean, so no boats or people can disembark safely without crossing my crab pot's path. But the nice part is, is all you have to do is run through and collect all the stuff it captures. Whereas Mariner has a lot of uh, prep time, I guess. I'm not sure how to describe it. But you have to fill it with fish bait every time, every day. So you're not getting junk anymore. You're guaranteed fish, which is kind of good. Like, that's nice. 
but because I'm lazy, I would probably recommend Lure Master over Mariner. If you're patient and you don't have that many crab pots, Mariner's probably better. Um, I'm thinking large scale, though, so I need to dial it back. All in all, Fisher, Angler, really, really good. Pirate, really good. Trapper, pretty solid. Mariner, good. Lure Master, double good. All right. Last but not least, Combat. So bear in mind, when I go through this, I have a bias. I'm always down in the Skull Caverns. Um, I always use a hammer. I've messed around with the dagger, and the hammer is just better. It is just superior. I am a hammer bro. So let's start with the two perks. Fighter, Scout. Fighter is my go-to. I always pick Fighter in every instance. I've messed around with Scout. Fighter just is better. Uh, fighter leads into Brute and Defender. Brute, super good synergy, because I personally like it when enemies are dead before I am. So Fighter, Brute, that's my go-to pretty much every time. I don't think there's ever been a time other than when I experiment that I mix it up. Uh, Defender is, is good. It's nice. I can see why people would take it. 25 health in the Skull Caverns. Beautiful. Amazing. You have more health. You have a, you live longer. You can fight stuff longer. Cool. Um, stuff in the Skull Caverns typically hurts a lot. So I can understand wanting 20 more health. Like 25 more health, that's a lot. But the thing is, is that you typically want to kill enemies because if there's no enemies, then you don't have to worry about your health, right? And the hammer combined with a fighter slash brute does that very well, especially when you get swarmed. The hammer deals with that extremely well when you right click and use the special move. Uh, it's very, very good at that. So shifting gears to scout, scout is deceptive. 50% increase crit chance looks really good on paper. The problem is it's not actually as good as you think. Um, when I first picked Scout a long, long time ago, I had a sword. And the sword I was using, I don't recall. It had like a 2% chance to crit. I didn't know that. I thought I had a 50% chance. I was wondering why I didn't crit. And then I realized the sword itself has a 2% chance. And then combined with Scout, that 2 becomes a 3 because of the way this text works. So after taking that and moving down the list, you have Acrobat and Desperado. Typically, the move is to combine Scout with Desperado because your crits, like, kill anything, right? Uh, I messed around with this with the dagger with the Forge changes, and it unfortunately suffers the same problem it had before. Crit is better with the Forge changes, but the problem is, is that the range of the dagger in the Skull Caverns, which is what I'm referencing, is kind of small, and your chances of getting hit are really, really high still. So... Because of how fast the serpents and sometimes the bats move, and you don't get a crit, you're probably going to get hit. Um, your reliant on crits is really, really, really high, and, you know, sometimes Iron Jesus isn't on your side. So you're going to get hit, and that sucks. So it's really meme -y. It has a lot of potential. Uh, the Desperado dagger and napalm ring combo in the Skull Caverns is kind of cool. Like, that, it has potential. It's all right. But the lack of range and the lack of ability of dealing with swarms specific specifically in the skull caverns is a huge detriment which is why i'm such a big fan of the hammer um acrobat i messed around with this and i would rather have the damage personally over uh a cooldown because with artful you kind of don't really need this because it cuts the timer literally in half of that big box that you have on your skill bar you know with the hammer it is nice. It does stack with Artful. Acrobat does. It turns it down to a fourth of a cooldown, but you lose the damage on Brute. Um, so it, it, that one's kind of a preference thing. I, I'll take Brute over it. I like the raw damage, um, but Acrobat's not really that bad. So with all that said, I would take Fighter and Brute pretty much over any of these. All of them are pretty good. I would say the worst one here is Defender because I like to do damage, and combat's all about, you know, combat. So Fighter, Brute, that's my go-to. Combine it with the hammer uh, and the damage upgrades on the forge. You're in for a good time. And that's going to do it for 1.5 skills and professions. Hopefully that helps. Uh, now you guys have an insight into my mind and the way I think and what perks are good, which perks are bad. Hopefully maybe I steered you in the right direction. Maybe I cleared some stuff up. Um, if I didn't explain or elaborate on anything that you want me to, feel, feel free to drop a comment below. I would appreciate it. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching, dudes. Enjoy your night.
or day. I don't know where you're from.